Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to customize XFCE and make it look modern and beautiful. Now here you can see I have already customized the font. So let's see how you can change some other settings. First of all, let's see some desktop uh, settings. If I right click on desktop, you can see this desktop setting option. So you can change the desktop wallpaper or the background. You can also choose folder. You can also choose a solid color for background or you can check this option change the background and you can choose random order option as well next we have menu options you can see for a desktop menu include application menus on the desktop right click so if I right click on desktop you can see application menu and if we, if I uncheck this option now it is hidden So you can uncheck or this uh, section then we have icon size option and icon type so you can hide or show icons on desktop if you select none you can not see any icon and if you select minimize application you can see now we have google chrome icon and file manager icon or you can show file and launcher icons you can also change the size of your icons you can also use custom font size and then we have some other settings if you want to hide some icons from the desktop you can uncheck these options and you can change the settings then you can choose this arrange desktop icon option if you click properties you can see you can change the desktop name you can see some permissions and other settings now let's see some panel settings if you right click you can see different options properties move remove and if you go to panel you can see some more options add new items or you can go to panel preferences let's click add new items and here you can see I have already added show desktop icon and workspaces icon you can see we have a lot of options And now you can see system load monitor. You can right click and remove. So you have different options. If you click on properties you can see separator dot separator here then we have handle separator and transparent option you can also move some options from here and some icons if you click on this icon you can see properties and edit application option and now you can see title for your application menu and currently it is displaying icon but we can also display application menu 
the title or you can change title here you can also display icon and title so it's up to you for the menu settings you can also click on this show generic application names or show category names or you can hide category names this is the default settings so let's click on uncheck this option now you can see it is hidden. category names are hidden show application descriptions you can also view description then we have show menu hierarchy option now we cannot see this if you click on this you will see sub menu items you can also choose the icon size and for the behavior you can check this option switch categories by hovering so now if i just hover my mouse i can see sub menus you can also check this option position commands next to search summary and then next we have position categories next to panel button so this is how you can easily come uh, customize your start menu then we have commands and some search actions now let's change the font simply go to start and search for appearance and you can choose these different styles let me show you the file manager now if i select any other option you can see high contrast option then we have gray bird add white dark and add white option so you can choose whatever you like then we have icons different icon packs are available you can see live preview of your icon when you select any icon and if i select breeze dark you can see some icons are missing you can also change default font and size of your font we have a lot of fonts we can also choose font style and size let's choose another font ubuntu is also available now let's increase the font size for ubuntu and Let's choose Ubuntu regular. Now close file manager and let's start it again. And now you can see font has been changed. For the text toolbar we have some settings we have text icons text under icons and text next to icons and some other options for menus and buttons
now let's see see the settings for panel position if you go to start menu and simply search for panel first we have panel settings and then xfc panel switch option so let's view panel settings you can name your panel and for the general mode we have three different options horizontal vertical and desk bar so i prefer this desk bar option but you can also choose vertical and horizontal the default is horizontal let's select desk bar we can also lock panel and you can also automatically hide panel default option is uh, never but you can choose from intelligently and always you can also change number of rows and pixel size then we have appearance we have solid color option and background image option and none it means use system default and we have already seen items option you can hide or show options you can see i we have show desktop option if i open any application let's open file manager and if i click on this i can show desktop icon it will minimize all windows you can click it again to restore the minimized windows let's go and search for panel again and now you can see xfc panel switch option click on this and we have different options we have multiple menu options let's choose second one like gnome 2 and click on this settings gear icon to apply configuration and now you can see we have different menu style and we have two panels one at the bottom and another at top next we have red mount let's apply this one and now we have a single menu with time our applications and our start menu then we have xfc 4.4.12 and here you can see it contains our application menu at the top with a panel and you can see a mac mac like menu here i believe we can right click yes we can right click to remove option or we can move or we can view properties of items we can also add new items let's add a screenshot tool It's simple and easy next we have zubuntu bionic let's try this one we have this menu option then we have zubuntu precise panel at the top and our menu and it automatically hides these icons when you hover your mouse here you can see it appears again then we have zubuntu trusty p 
which has this panel at the top with our menu. So this is how you can easily customize XFCE. It's very simple and easy. And you have a lot of options. Thank you very much for watching this video.